Hello, this is Cody Davidson. I'm doing my Clemson University blog for my new student dialogue, and mine was for female or remale talking about the men and women in the workplace and how they interact and how being a female in the workplace affects things that happen. Um, our talk started off, we talked about traditional women's roles and what they did in the house, and not, not necessarily the house, but how they were expected to work in the house in old times and nurture and take care of children and how they weren't necessarily seen as business people or any type of working class and that the men were the traditional breadwinners and were the ones who made money for the family and did all the things necessary to keep the family running. We talked about adjectives that described women in traditional ways that we grew up in and most of them pertain to nurturing, caring, loving, um, weak in some cases and we did the same for males and those came back strong like references to the military, uh, hard working and others and whatnot. And we talked about how this affects the workplace and how women are on average paid seven cents per ten or seventy cents on the dollar to men and how since they don't make as much how could that be fair? We talked a lot about equity, inequality, and equality would be getting a job just like a male. But equity wouldn't be there per se because you're not getting paid as much as your counterpart, who may be a man. Um, when we talked about this, there weren't too many people that were willing to share Everyone kind of kept their mouth shut. Um, so we didn't really get into too much of a dialogue. and But we did talk about... The, the girls in the group did talk about what they wanted to do and how they thought saw themselves and how it was demeaning or and or fit into the traditional social, social role. Um, and as a guy, I didn't have too much to say there because I felt that it was more of a dialogue directed at women and so I wasn't in the forefront of the discussion um, but there was one girl who was heavy set upon becoming a housewife and you know not working when she was older and there was others that were very against that and against oh it's, it's putting women down because they're expected to work or not to work and to stay at home and nurture the children and personally I grew up with a mom who stayed at home and so my experience has been the mom a lot of times will be the one who takes care of everything that needs to be taken care of because all the stuff that happens at home is definitely a full-time job and it, it needs to be done one way or another and since women are at a disadvantage in the workplace not getting paid as much as their male counterparts it's almost practical uh, to do so and There, other than that, there was not too much debate among the guys in the group. It was mostly the girls that were going, uh, talking. Um, but we did realize that in today's society, women are just as mentally capable as males. And so they should be treated as such in the workplace. Inequality should be... I equity should be equal for both male and female 
they should be paid the same if they're doing the same job and have the same experience with the same qualifications, even though they have the variables that men don't have, such as pregnancy and whatnot. So they might have to be relieved from their job if they get pregnant. That's a variable that companies look at, and that's that was discussed as maybe one of the reasons that women weren't paid as much as men because they have those. Um, they're almost taking a chance on hiring a woman. Um, we talked a lot about salience, which is things that affect you, affected me personally in my life. And the things that were salient to me as a college student were being a kid trying to pay for school who doesn't have a lot of money. Like, that's something that I go through every day. I know I can't go out and I can't spend a whole ton of money. Um, and that was the biggest one for me. Uh, there wasn't... Being a white male in society, there's not too many things that you have to think about, worry about day to day. And so the most salient thing to me was my financial situation. Um, and being a college student, because you go places and college students have reputations one way or another. And so everywhere you go, you have an expectation for you. So being a college student was also a big thing that was salient to me. And in the end of our dialogue, we, we discussed that since the gap, there is no education gap between males and females anymore, so there should be no pay gap. There should be no, there should be equality, not just equality, but equity should be the same for males and females in the workplace because they are both one and the same. I mean, gender doesn't have much of a role to play in anything if the job can be done by either either one and done just as well, if not better, by one gender of the other or the other. And if they can both do the same job at the same quality, then they should get paid the same. And that's how we really have come a long way. We talked about from in like the 50s, there were no working women. Every woman was in the house. And now we have women in the workforce. We're just waiting for that one last civil push so that women will f get paid and be treated as equals to men in the workplace. Thanks.